Hi, this is Love My Babies. I have one more box opening, but I couldn't resist. I had to take her out of the box. <laughs> I got her on Doll Fan. This is Matilda by Joanna Kazmerzak. She is a vinyl baby. And she is so cute. Look at these feet. She's like a, a good sized baby. She, um, she's got chunky legs. She's heavy. Her head is weighted. She's actually a prototype baby. She has beautiful head of hair. <coughs> she's just really a beautiful baby. I love AA babies. God makes them so beautiful. They're just very, very beautiful babies. And talking about the, we forgot what Kelly girl, um, um, ah, darn it, I wanted to look it up before I started my video. A sale of selling a baby that you feel bad about selling. Um, I feel bad about selling my AA Tiffany. She was a silicone baby. She was just, um, perfect size. She was like a little princess. Very cute little baby. But I get to the point where when I have a silicone baby, um, it's just a lot of money and one doll. And then I think the guilt comes upon me of spending that and, you know, then I let them go. I'm still waiting for my Claire ta Taylor baby. She said three weeks and that was the end of February, so I should be hearing something I would think next week. But I'm so happy to have little Matilda here. Like I said, she's a prototype baby. She, um, there's another video I watched about, um, prototype babies. I personally think prototype babies are very, very, very well done compared to other, I mean, there's all different, there's, you know, you can see that there's lower, I think middle and higher quality reborns, and it all depends who does them. Um, so to have a prototype, I feel very happy to be able to have, this is my second prototype, and I've gotten them both off a of doll fan for a lot less than their original mommies paid for them. So I feel very happy to be able to have her. Look at her little nails. She's got very, very great qualities. She's got a little <laughs> very chubby, chubby cheeks. I love her eyebrows. I mean, her details are beautiful. I think on a prototype baby, you're less likely to find things that you don't care for on the baby because they're really made for, you know, they're made for the kits to, for people to want them. So I think that they do a really, really excellent job on the prototypes. And like I said, she, I think I said she's a, like a 20 inch baby. What a big difference. She's like the biggest baby that I have, which is good though, because I have a lot of um, clothes that my other babies swim in <laughs> and she'll fit in them very well. I mean, look at her little nails. They're so well done. They look like little nails. She's got kind of like white and pink. She's just very, very well done. Um, I cut off this binky and I don't like cutting nipples, so you know that she's a special baby. <laughs> it's like, got a nipple for her. She came with a binky, but I like mams. Mams are like my favorite pacifiers. Oh, it's kind of hard because she takes a modified binky. So you just have to cut the end of the binky off, which is nice rather than a magnet. 
I like that idea when their mouth is open a little. And she even has little earrings. I just watched Erica Jones' video and she put earrings on her baby. I don't have any babies with little earrings and I didn't realize that she had earrings. Yeah, it just adds more to her little girlyish. She got beautiful eyelashes. She got a beautiful head of hair. It's not the real soft mohair, but it's thick. So it feels kind of like, like a, an A baby's hair would be. It's just, it's like a thicker black hair, but very beautiful hair. She's got her little hands. Both of them are open. This little hand is little fingers bent. She's got real wrinkly skin. She looks like a newer, um, a new baby, but she's just a big new baby. <laughs> definitely a 40 week new baby. She definitely stayed in the belly long enough. She has very nice legs. Kind of muscular legs. Chunky. So my Tiffany, my silicone baby, she was by Joanna Kazmerzak. So I didn't think, just like my first reborn from Joanna Kazmerzak. Um, I didn't think I would, down the road, I wanted to get another silicone made by her, but I didn't think that I would get a reborn by her. So that's pretty neat. And I just want to show you her paperwork. She's done by this lady. And some of the names are kind of hard. <laughs> I don't even want to try to say it. That's the Reborn Artist. She didn't really come with too much. She just came with a blanket and a little pink cute onesie. Matilda. And it says she's a prototype. By Joanna Kazmerzak. And actually that's her signature on the back. The lady that did her. And this is just a little card that says thank you. Yeah. Oh, actually, here's your stuff. How cute is that? The birthday. She was born September 6, 2016. And the weight's in kilograms. And she's 20 inch. So, yeah. Neat. She is very heavy. I'll have to weigh her and see. Like I said, her head is very well weighted. Awesome. She's the big girl. She fits really good in the car seat. But she still looks like a newborn. Just bigger than what I'm used to. <laughs> so there she is. Look at those chubby cheeks. Her mouth is like... Open, you can kind of see a little tongue in there. And she's very, very detailed, baby. And I'm so happy to have her. She's definitely a cutie. <laughs> you can see her beautiful hair. So beautiful. The texture is so. Must have taken a long time to do her hair. Alright. So I will be back soon with a detailed, more detailed video of her. Trying to get you to take your winky. I actually want to change her name. Her name's Matilda, like I said. But I think I'm going to name her Shiloh. I like that name. And Shiloh is my cat's name. She's a beautiful Siamese kitty that she lives with my mom now because my kids were allergic. But Shiloh means peace. And I think this would be a really cute name for her. So, alrighty. Thank you so much for watching my videos.
Talk to you later.